Good morning, guys. I'm trying to look like a cowgirl today, so that it's a sign and good luck when we go look at our farm tonight, that it's the right one for us and that I can actually be a cowgirl or a horse girl. Well, I have four cowgirl hats, so. Yeah, she's got a cowgirl hat. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. What? Good morning, guys. <laughs> anyway. I have a cold. Yeah, I, I, my ears are plugged. Sam said he felt sick. Gabby's getting a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. You think you're getting a cold? Yeah, things are happening. You can tell the fall is coming because everybody's getting sick. Anyway, on the agenda today, like I said, we are going to look at a farm, but also we're doing this. Uh, water bead stress ball. What? These are also known as orbs. Yeah, Orby stress balls. We got our balloons. Which we've done before, but Gabby's paw. I redid mine. Then and then I, they popped again and again. So yeah, we pop these because they feel so good, we just squish them to death. And then you. they pop. Oh, I do, but some one of our subscribers was watching an old video and she commented to me yesterday on Instagram and said, hey, I watched the video where Gabby broke two stress balls. The flower one and an Orbeez one. Oh yeah. So, okay, let's just do it. So hey, there's proof in the videos. Okay, anyway, we're gonna get to it. What you need is a balloon. Water bottle, Orbeez, and I'm using a bowl too. This is perfect for those stressful, stressful school days when there's so much work for you to do. The girls are playing horses in the living room and watching TV at the same time. I'm enjoying the fact that they are playing and having fun while I do some much needed stuff for homeschool. So I've spent half of this morning. Can I see my bareback mount? Peace. My five minutes of peace, all finished. As soon as I turn on the camera, they're like, hey, look at me. Let's see, this is her bareback mount, you guys. I was watching her do this yesterday, and I was thinking, hmm, somebody's been watching YouTube. Used to be like okay, let's see it. Go for it, sister. Awesome, there she goes. All right, so I've been spending half this morning looking for horses, looking for lease horses. I feel like the only way we're really gonna get a lease horse. My pony, I uh, really so I found it. one. Some of you guys have been so helpful and been sending us links for potential leases, and that's been awesome. But I actually found one today. The only thing that I don't like about it, it's perfect, except for that it's only 14.1 hands. It's a pony, but Spencer is a pony. I just don't know how tall he is, but he's got to be around that size. Anyways, it's just a lease. Even if it was just good for winter, um, I feel like that would be okay. Let me know in the comments below if I said something some, so terrible there. Um, but for our first lease, I think, I don't know. So I sent the ad to our trainer because she's the one that needs to find out for sure if it really is good for us. And she's the one that needs to arrange it all. Um, and all we'll do is like pay and go and learn from her what she wants to teach us anyway so I had to stop that for a while and I'm getting our homeschool stuff in order this is my this is my bucket system and it looks like just a big pile of mess this is all the work we did last year all of this at, in addition to a ton of computer work so this is Gabby's folder from last year and these are all of her pages you guys can't tell but it is so heavy I can hardly carry it Yep. Oh, this is last... Sophie's folder from last year. Wait, can I make another one? Yeah, that's what you guys can do if you want to do that today while we're waiting to go look at the house at the farm. Oh, yeah, do you remember? Are you getting excited about school? Come on, tell me the truth. No. I hate it, but look at my ladybug. Just to clarify, they don't hate homeschool. They just hate any kind of learning, any kind of structured learning. Anyway, it has to be done. School has to be done and I'm excited. I'm super excited. I think they're gonna be excited to get back at it. This is what happens when you rescue baby animals. You walk out onto your back porch. Oh, can't see. And they're sitting there waiting for you to feed them. Isn't that the coolest oh, well, thing? They're in the recycling bin just trying to find food. Shh. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell them the bad part, or they're on the back porch knocking with their beak on the door saying, let me in, I want to come back home. I don't have beak. Well, I know, but that's what I'm saying. When you rescue baby animals, they're either on the back porch begging for food or on they're on the side porch begging for food, begging to come back in. That's Bailey. Oh yeah, that's Bailey, totally Bailey. 
All right, we are on our way to the farm. Before we go to the farm though, while I was looking for horses today, I actually found this little tack store and it's a second hand tack store, which is so super cool for us because we love looking at tack and it has so much stuff. Our tack store, I don't know, but we're gonna find out if it has Schleich. Whoa, look at Gabby. Those boots are your color. Those are bell boots <coughs> and jumping boots. Cute they little western English saddle. Rider doll. Oh. That's cool. Hello. Oh, that's a cute little shirt. You like that saddle? Saddles have to be fitted to the horse. Saddle pads, girth. Look at all this stuff. Bits. Got saddles up there. And everything over there. What are you looking at? Oh, Look at this soft bit. That's a soft bit. That's not soft. It's, soft it's plastic. Bit. It's a soft bit. It's hard to me. It's better than metal though, right? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, oh, a small little halter. Like it's better than like For a like a tiny bit. dog, like my dog. My new dog I'm going to get. <laughs> oh, yeah. A full halter. Yeah, we should get a full halter for it. For my dog? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh, these are the things that... Um, our old barn used to have them. Yeah, cool. Put your saddle on, yeah. right? That store was not a big hit for us. We didn't really find anything that we needed in there that we liked, but it was really neat to meet that lady that owns it because she knows Fiona, our riding coach, which was really cool. So we're almost to the barn, to the farm, and I had thought I should explain a couple of things. So one, the reason that we picked our price range for our farm is because we are hoping to be debt free when we buy this farm. We want to buy a farm that we can afford to pay without having to get a mortgage or if we have to get a mortgage, we want to just get a small one. We don't want to have a very much debt or any debt if possible. So uh, this, ha this farm has 93 acres. Yeah. 93 acres. Oh, no I barn, no. No barn, but it has a big, huge workshop that we can convert into a barn. Um, the problem with the house is, let's just say we're gonna call this the hoarder house. Yeah. The real estate agent said that the lady has a lot of stuff and not a lot of work has been done to the house, so that's something that we have to consider. But it's in our price range and we would be debt free if we bought this farm, which would be awesome because we'd have so much more money to uh, pay and concentrate on our animals and our horses. And that would be awesome. So let's check it out. Wow. Beautiful. No, you can't go pee over here. Where can I go pee then? All right, go ahead in the bush right here. Hurry up. Go. Every time we come and look at a house, <laughs> Sophie has to go pee. Yes, go. Making sure nobody comes. Oh my God, they're both peeing in the bush. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with my kids? Looks like a big, huge garden area over here. Don't touch the dogs. Don't bother the dog. Come away. Come away. Come on. So it looks like there's trails over there. I love trails here. So that would be what we would transport into a garage or into a barn. Wait, there's no barn here? Trails. No, no barns here. But look. 93 acres and it's all through all woods. Aw, cute. Look at That would make a really good horse pen without all the bushes. It's a dog pen. All right, let's go in then. Let's go in. Tiny room. Tiny living room. Yeah, we'd have to put a deck and a pool out there. This one's bigger. It's better. Yeah, that's 
bathroom. So we used this five minutes ago. Oh, this is a cute bedroom. Nice and cool in here. Where did you come from? The bathroom. Oh, okay. <coughs> so they have an ensuite. It's actually not as bad as I thought. It's kind of cute. Ah. That, this would be my bedroom. The other one would be so that. The other bedroom's brighter. <coughs> See how hot it was? Kitchen. Uh, Gabby loving the kitty. This is the downstairs. It's got a wood stove. Bathroom. Oh, the cat's following us. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, it's a nice tub. Okay, this is too good of a tub. You like the tub? Yes. We're on a path. The mosquitoes are crazy. I don't Ow. Like that. She's smacking yeah. mosquitoes off of me. Anyway, we're just checking out one of the paths, one of the trails. We're trying to move fast. Oh my gosh. Look, you could canter right through this trail. So they had a little actual place that you could use. Um, it's like a lean to, an old lean to for a horse, but they have it all set up kind of, and it's nice. And technically, you could use it for horses. Is it end? No. 93 no, acres. No, so yeah, so the path goes way back there through the woods. And then it goes all the way back around this way. I've seen those on a nature walk. What on a To the house. So the house um, is a bit stinky because they had cats and carpet. Cats and carpet don't mix. I'm surprised and then I they have dogs. Like the house. And they had a sunroom that yeah, I didn't get to show too. you guys. So the lady makes doggy diapers and I asked her about them and she makes really nice ones the kind that I've been trying to find that would be perfect for a belly Gallop band horse. for Toby ow jeez <laughs> gallop horse oh, my kids are violent all right let's talk about the house well here so did you like it Sophie mm, I'm just... Gabby did you like it uh... Yeah, just the bugs. I couldn't handle the yeah. bugs. Were I horrid. Get it right here where my. She's gotta go home and take more medicine just to, so she doesn't infect those bug bites. So, I what was your like favorite part? Um, can't do. We're going down the trail. So she loved the trail. So she could gallop her horse. Running. That's what they were doing. They were galloping down there. Mm -hmm. So you love the trails. What's your favorite part, Gabby? Uh. Favorite part was that there's trails, but I also like the house too. Okay, so for me, oh, Daddy. they actually had they actually had a shed, like a big, huge garage type thing in the backyard, and we went in. He was using it as a workshop, but it was an actual classroom. It looked like a classroom, smelled like a classroom. It was an act. No, he bought it. It was a, he bought it from the school board. It was bought it from the school board. It was a it was a classroom. It had blackboards on the wall already chalkboards so I mean we could use that as a, as a school room when you first walked in I couldn't really vlog that much because the people stayed there they were older and they just stayed there but um, the people or they made the room when you first walked in it was a huge room and it went into a sunroom I couldn't vlog that either and that room when you first went in it had heated floors and it was super crowded but that would have been a good classroom and then you still had the whole house left. So I don't know, we have to talk about it. We're the kind of people that have to talk about it and talk about it. I feel like if we find a farm and we know right away if it's the right one, we'll know instantly. But there's a chance too that we can talk about it and decide. We have to decide fast though because they already had an offer on this house and it fell through. So we have to figure it out. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? You didn't like it? My favorite part is it got has 93 acres. Yeah, 93 acres. And it would have been an easy fix to get horses on there. Bushes and everything though. Yeah, a lot of bushes. Did you like the house? A bit choppy. But I like that it was kind of big. Yeah, so the house 
little bit choppy and a bit packed full of stuff, but it was kind of big. So I guess we'll have to see. You guys tell us in the comments below. Do you think this is the one for us? Kind of we're getting an idea of what we're looking for. It's in our price range. It's not too far away. It's a bit of a drive for Sam, right? But not horrible. And yeah, tell us, is this the right house for us? Somebody's trying to steal my puppy. Anyway, we are gonna do a comment Where's of the Macy, day. Where's Macy, my puppy? Where is Macy, your puppy? She's she used to be on that bed. Snuck ben away. She used to be there. Okay, so comment of the day goes to Allison Fersinto. 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 Good call, Gabby. It says, hey, I just got back from helping all the horses that have been affected by Hurricane Harvey. You guys have not really addressed that yet. Not that, that it's a bad thing, but I know it must have some effect on your feelings. Well, yeah, it totally does. All the people in Texas, all the animals in Texas that are suffering, um, I definitely have been remembering you all in my prayers. I think it's amazing that you are helping the animals there, specifically the horses. I just can't even imagine. If we were there, we would want to do that, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we would. Thank you so much for your comment. I definitely wanted to address all the hurricane and all the flooding. I just wasn't sure how well it would go over on this channel because there's so many kids here, but I see <clears throat> from your comment that you guys are so much more. All the time you amaze me and I'm just so, we are just so blessed to have you guys all in our lives. So praying for Texas and thanking God for all of you guys. So that's how we're gonna end today's video. So we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.